Hey guys, welcome. Uh, it's good to see you and um, I hope you're having a good week. Um, this is for the video for kindergartners and first and second graders, newcomers. All right, I wanted to start today with something that um, I saw when I'm outside. When you go outside, what kind of animals do you see? Um, I have constantly been amazed at birds. Different kind of birds you hear singing, you see them flying through the air. Um, and today I was out on a walk and I actually found a nest, um, the bird's nest. And I was just thinking how interesting it is that they don't, they don't worry about where they're going to live. They just kind of put this together. And do you know what a nest is made out of? It's made out of string. It's made out of straw. It's made out of sticks. Whatever they can find, they put it together. And this one was not being used because it was discarded. The eggs had probably been born, and they, they were not worried uh, about coming back to it. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a visual of a nest. Okay, so what I wanted to do was start with um, um, you guys' stories this week and just kind of talk before we get started about um, what kind of things you do for um, animals. And the first story we're going to read is, um, it's called... Here we go. Um, caring for your dog. Now, if you look in a dog book, you're going to find that there's lots and lots of different kinds of dogs. And maybe you have a dog as a pet. Maybe you have a little dog. Maybe you have a big dog. Maybe you have an in-between sized dog. But there's something that all dogs need in common, and that's being taken care of. So a few of your vocabulary words I'm going to show you this week are brush. Now, this little guy is brushing his teeth, but a dog needs to be brushed. He needs to be taken care of, brushed. Family. You know, you're, you have a family, um, and when you welcome an animal or a pet into your family, he becomes part of your family. Care. You take care of your animal by brushing him, by feeding him, by providing a place to sleep. But um, that word care is something that's important for us people as well as dogs. He's fed. It's the past tense of the word feed, and you provide food for your dog. Dog food. You probably give him water, but um, he does need to eat, so that's important to give him food to eat. And he needs water. These are all needs we have as people as well as dogs. And sometimes when your dog may sit and you tell him to sit or um, obey you when you call to him, you may give him a treat. Now, this is a candy treat, but dogs have treats, too. So, the word treat. As you look at this story, as you read the story, it is called Caring for Your Dog, and it's a level G book. I want you to think about the kinds of needs that dogs have, okay? And what kinds of needs um, you have as well. But why do dogs need so many things? And do they depend on us people? their owners for these things. And I think you'll understand um, the answers once you read the story. So that's the first story. The second story is also about an animal and it is called Animal Dads. Animal Dads. And this is a level F book and here's your vocabulary words. The first word is care and we just saw the word care um, in our last story um, about caring for your dog. Um, and you're going to find something really interesting about these, these dads. These are dads that are animal dads. This is a human da dad. Grow, and animals grow just like you do, just like people do. Guard. Some animals guard their young. They take care of them. They protect them. That word guard means also to protect. Help. Okay, a lot of dads help. Um, they're young in some way. And the last word is young. Now, let me just tell you, um, do, all do, uh, do all animal dads help their young? No. Cats don't really. Dogs don't really. Um, so, but there are some species of animals that really do. And these are odd animals. So I'm going to show you pictures right here. And these are in your story. Again, it's called Animal Dads, and it's level F. So this is called a Rhea. 
And a rhea is like an ostrich. It's a giant bird. And the dad rhea takes care of his babies for two years. You might think that's a mama, but it's not. It's the dad. So that's kind of interesting. A marmoset is a white monkey. And the dad carries the babies and cleans and feeds them. So that's the dad's job, the marmoset. The next one we have is a jawfish. And the dad holds his babies in his mouth. See those little eggs in his mouth? Those are his babies. Another animal that's aquatic or in the water is a seahorse. And the dad carries thousands of eggs in his pouch. So in there, he carries the eggs that are his babies. And the other animal that we have here is a jackal. It's kind of a, like a fox or a wolf. And the jackal chews up the food for his babies and he spits it out and he gives it to his babies. I didn't have, I didn't find a picture of his babies with him, but that's a jackal and that's what he does. And the last few couple of animals we have is the poison dart frog. I don't know if you've ever seen a frog that looks like this because these are um, usually in the um, tropics where it's hot. The poison dart frog, dad, he carries tadpoles on his back. And tadpoles are baby frogs. So he just carries them on his back. Like you hear the, um, the word, you know, um, I'll carry you. Uh, I'll give me a piggyback. He piggybacks his babies. The last animal is the penguin, and he lives where it's very, very cold, up in the North Arctic. And what he does is he warms his baby by just holding him between his feet. It's very cold there, and he needs to warm the baby while the baby is not yet um, hatched. So these are questions that I have for you about the baby, um, the dads. I want you to think about how um, many of these dads help their young, and what do they do that's really special, okay? So as you think about this, and there's something that I was thinking of today is that there's an instinct in them. They don't just do it because the mom says, you gotta go do it um, to her, you know, the dart frog or to the ostrich, the rhea, or to the penguin. It's instinctual. So that means that they just do it because they are made to do it. So what I'd like you to do is I want you to read that book. Again, it's called Animal Dads. I want you to read it. I want you to listen to it. And then I want you to take the quiz. And again, remember that nature's all around us. So when you go outside, you see dogs getting walked by their owners, or you have your own dog and you play with them, or you see birds flying around. There's nature all around us. And it's really interesting to watch and to learn about it. So guys, have a great week. Um, I'll see you on Friday, Friday morning. And until then, see you later. Bye-bye.